Helldivers 2 balance update. They nerfed modifiers that affect your stratagem cooldown and call in times by 50%. Dark Thrower now has a fixed charge rate to one second per shot, reducing the fire rate you can do. The firing, the firing rate change is not that bad. Arc throw reduced range from 50 meters to 35 and now has increased stagger force. Guard dog now restores full ammo from supply boxes. Anti-material rifle does 30% more damage. Breaker incendiary damage per, per bullet increased from 15 to 20. Fire damage per tick increased by 50% from all sources. Flame thrower might be cracked. The Helldiver and Exosuit both had a bug that made them sometimes take explosion damage multiple times making things like automaton rockets be too deadly this is now fixed this could change everything maybe move the enemy spawn points further away from a, from the objective to give players a fair chance of defending locations on retrieve essential personnel missions there are fewer civilians required to complete the mission on higher difficulties they made it easier cool okay 4036 Evacuate 50 people. The they reduced it by 10 for Helldive. Destroy Command Bunkers now has more objective locations. The mission was too easy before compared to other missions. It was. You, you have four players on a team. If three have orbital laser, you throw those, mission complete. You won. Congrats. And it can now appear in, in operations from difficulty 5. Maximum level cap increased to 150. Liberator Penetrator now has a full auto mode. Dominator increased damage from 200 to 300. Dominator increased stagger. Diligence counter sniper increased armor pin from a light to medium. Slugger reduced stagger, reduced damage from 280 to 250, reduced demolition force. It can probably no longer break the blue and orange crates on the, the random POIs. Reduced destruction capabilities. Yep. You can't break them crates no more, brother. Really. Fixed armor pin tag in the menu for slugger, liberator, concussive senator. Recoilist Rifle now gets three rockets every time you get a supply box. Spear increased the number of missiles you restore from one to two as well. Heavy Machine Gun got a massive buff. The highest fire rate mode reduced from 1200 RPMs to a more moderate 950. That's it. Stratagems. Patriot Exosuit Rockets will now penetrate armor only on direct hit. Bouncing adjustments have been made to chargers. Normal melee attacks now do less damage against exosuits. Bow Spear and Nursing Spear do less damage with their puke. If I don't get one shot, that's amazing. The Bow Titan can no longer be stunned. Huh. Before you could actually stun it with a stun grenade and lead that into an EMS strike, it would be stunned for the full duration of that. Strikers no longer create bug breaches. Thank the Lord. Strikers hitting you while you, you are dead now does significantly less damage. A lot of folks didn't like that. I thought it was kind of funny. Lever balancing adjustments have been made to heavy and medium armor to protect you better. Heavy now gives you 10% more damage reduction on average, I guess. And medium gives you 5% damage reduction. Fortified Commando and Light Armor is unchanged. And a bunch of bug fixes here. Fix issues where settings for PS5 would be reset when the game is rebooted, causing things such as loadout and hint settings to reset. Enemies now properly target exosuits. Previously, many enemies effectively ignored exosuits if a Helldiver on foot was available for them to target. Fixed exosuits being able to fire their weapons while opening the minimap. Automaton enemy constella constellations that preferred to spawn more of a certain devastator's types did not work and are now functioning as they should. This means that sometimes when playing against the automatons, you will face more devastators instead of the other enemy types. We've improved the system that prevents help pods steering close to large or important objects. We've solved issues where the effective area around objects was a lot larger than intended We've reduced the number of objects that prevent help pod steering to prevent soft locks where players can drop on important interaction points or drop into unintended places. We will continue to monitor the state of the system after the update to see if additional tweaks are necessary. Ballistic shield changes. Collision mesh has been slightly increased in size for more forgiveness. Change shield poses so that less of the hell diver is exposed. Address bug where parts of the hell diver would become vulnerable while using the shield in first person. So you probably won't get mopped by bugs anymore because they were mailing you through the shield. Maybe you will though. Known issues. Game might crash when picking up a snowball or throwing back a grenade. Note to self, don't do those. Various <laughs> various issues involving friend invites and crossplay. Cross-platform friend invites might not show up in the friend request tab. Players cannot unfriend other players befriended via friend code. Players cannot unblock players that were not in their friends list beforehand. 
Players can't befriend players with Steam names shorter than three characters. Explosive weapon stats include only direct hit damage, but not explosive damage. Explosions do not break your limbs, except for when you fly into a rock. Oh no. That's going to be rough when they fix that. Plant liberation reaches 100% at the end of every defend mission. Drowning in deep water with a vitality booster equipped puts Helldiver in a broken state. I've been there. Charging beam might attach itself to an enemy, but it will deploy to its original location. That's a bug. Huh. Some player customizations like little, like title or body type may reset after restarting the game. Overall, pretty amazing patch notes. Some things I question a little bit, like the machine gun thing. I don't know why they would actually reduce the RPM at all. 1200 had a use case, which the weapon itself is, it's atrocious. I'm making a bit on that, I think. So that's a, a wee bit questionable. The Arc Thor finally got a reasonable change because this weapon has been everyone's crutch. If y'all were, hey, if y'all coming out a different weapon, guess what? You got what you got. It be what it be. It's still going to be a good gun though. It's just that now you can't fire every, what was it? 0.25 seconds, something like that. Maybe every half second. So the fire rate isn't that much of a difference if it's every half second. And the increased Tiger Force might be a little interessante. The anti sure rifle increase in damage, crazy. The da the fire damage per tick increase, I think that that could be pretty freaking fun. I'm excited for that. And I'm glad to see them buffing most primary weapons. They nerfed a few, but they buffed the ones that people weren't using at all. I heavily respect that. And, dude, have negative effects of operation modifiers that increase stratagem cooldowns or call-in times. Thank you very much. But these are amazing patch notes, man. It's crazy, and it's always going to be impressive to me how quickly they, they roll out patch notes. It's also refreshing. There's also two more things. Planetary hazard conditions. They added blizzards and sandstorms, I believe. How come the flamethrower does less damage than the uh, incendiary shotgun? That's what it feels like right now. Incendiary shotgun is insane. Versus the bugs especially. Feels like one shot can kill that guy. He walked that nonsense out. Yeah. With two shots. Alright. Diligent Sniper versus Jondles. Wait. Wait. I'm in pain. I thought it would work. Alright, well. It's not. I thought it'd be way cooler than that. It's not very cool. Oh, God. <laughs> So, the Dungeon's Counter Sniper still doesn't feel that amazing. Hmm. And I don't think I was. I don't think you're supposed to use a sniper versus the bugs. If you are level 50, you're now level 75, I think. At least I am. And I wonder if we got new titles. I don't believe so. I think that Skull Admiral is still the highest.